Okay. Now, another important medical story tonight. It's a breakthrough that could mean the end of a devastating condition that kills most sufferers by their mid-twenties. Stem cell research may hold the key to a cure for muscular dystrophy. Yes, yeah, scientists have performed groundbreaking research on a group of dogs suffering from it with astonishing results. In most cases, recovery. Well, now the doctors are convinced that a cure could be on the way for humans too, and it's likely within a decade. Here is our medical editor, Lawrence McGinty, on a medical first. This is a dog with muscular dystrophy. It can barely stand, it has trouble breathing. It's a pathetic sight. But after treatment with stem cells, there's clearly a vast improvement in one of the other dogs in the Italian experiments. They've caused a burst of excitement among normally very cautious scientists. What's exciting about these results is they're the first convincing demonstration that stem cells could be a really useful therapy in Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And the reason it's convincing is they've done it in a large animal model of Duchenne that has very similar clinical symptoms and they're able to show a very significant clinical improvement. Michael Gibson has been in a wheelchair for over a decade. He's now 25 and he knows very few of the hundred or so patients born every year with this terrible genetic muscle wasting disease survive past the age of 30. Yeah, I do keep a spark of hope and with this new treatment it does sound more promising than uh, some of the others I've heard about over the years. There are two ways stem cell therapy for muscular dystrophy could work. Both depend on stem cells discovered in adult muscles less than a decade ago. They're the body's equivalent of a repair kit and can grow into new muscle cells. So the first route, take these cells from a donor and transplant them by a simple injection into a patient's bloodstream. Trouble with that, there's a danger of rejection patients would have to take anti-rejection drugs all their life. The second way, use the patient's own stem cells. Trouble is, they're genetically deficient. That's why the patient has MD in the first place. So they'd have to be genetically engineered in the lab to correct the deficiency before returning them to the patient through an injection. A word of caution, more experiments on animals are needed before human trials. But if they go well, the first patients could be treated in less than a decade. Lawrence McGinty, ITV News.